in the Lone Raff and Cub, which is really a standalone episode, which begins the turtle's search for Splinter, Raphael is out on his own, as he often is, looking for Splinter. And he runs afoul of a new group of characters, a bunch of gangsters, who actually do tie into the main story arc because they are one of several groups vying for the power that is left in the vacuum of the Shredder's departure. And they will play a part in several episodes next season, specifically the City at War episodes. There's a gang war coming now that the Shredder's out of the picture, and nothing's gonna stand in my way. Nothing! The title Lone Raff and Cub is kind of a funny play on Lone Wolf and Cub, which is a great manga series about a samurai who wanders around with a, a baby or a toddler who he pushes in a cart. Amazing manga series, great stuff. Ow! Cute, real cute. Now just calm down. Ow! Man, I hate kids. Raph says, uh, you know, that he hates kids in this episode, but as with many of Raph's, you know, grumpy old man kind of uh, behaviors, this is a little bit of an exaggeration. And I think as we have seen, you know, Raph is almost like a, a candy, you know, crusty and crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. And he is a big softy when it comes to kids, really. Hey, we did pretty good for a couple of hotheads. One of the fun things about this series is that the characters are evolving, and one of the neat things about this episode is that Raphael does have a small realization that you know he's trying to help this little kid out and you know telling him not to be so impulsive and such a hothead and, and it dawns on him that he's telling this kid what his brothers and his master splinter have been telling him all these years whoa there quick draw you better take a breath and think before you act you can't just go storming off like a hothead hey listen to me hothead the Search for Splinter episodes actually adapt, in large part, what we did in the fourth issue of the original Turtle comic, where the turtles start to discover the secret of their origin. Here's a new wrinkle. So? Yeah? Huh? Say the first letter in each word. TCRI stands for Techno-Cosmic Research Institute. It is the logo um, that is stenciled on the side of the mysterious canister that contained the ooze which caused the turtles and Splinter to mutate. And it also is a name on a building in New York City that the turtles come across when they're searching for Splinter who has disappeared at the end of the Return to New York story arc. And they discover this building as a result of following one of the guardians. The secret to our origin could very well lie within the walls of that building. The whole pigeon puppet scene, I, I'm so happy that Lloyd agreed to uh, put that in the show. It's one of the things that we came up with in the original comic that that episode is based on. It was one of the things that just absolutely cracked me up when we did that comic. And uh, I mean, it was just so ludicrous that it worked. I don't know what bothers me more, that this thing actually works or that Don carries around a pigeon puppet. The TCRI building holds many secrets. Secrets that the beings that run it uh, don't want the world at large to know. And that's one of the reasons why the interior seems like a maze. In many ways, it's a, a false face, a, a shell surrounding a nugget of mystery. Okay, that was weird. You know, what's deep in the building is what the real deal is. Wow. Uh huh. When the turtles enter that chamber in the TCRI building and they see Splinter in some kind of tube suspended in some kind of solution, they're not really sure what the heck's going on. Donatello, who's you know more of a techno guy, is able to perceive pretty quickly that this machinery is not meant for just keeping some dead body in suspension, but to keep someone alive in stasis, perhaps as a healing measure. But they're not sure. And we're not sure, and we won't be sure until uh, sometime into the next season. Can this freak show get any weirder? The turtles very unexpectedly run into these characters when they break into the TCRI building trying to find Splinter. 
and they freak out because the Utrams are very odd looking. You know, they're, they're like basketballs with tentacles. They have these robotic exoskeletons that they wear. They ride around inside these things in the stomach cavity and they disguise those even further with the humanoid uh, skins so they can pass amongst uh, humans as humans. We really don't know what their story is yet. I don't think the turtles ever expected to see any of this stuff when they broke in. Some of the technology is really out there and in fact uh, sends the turtles out there. Stop! Listen to me! You must get off of there immediately! Ah! This is some kind of very strange technology and you know what happens to the turtles at the end of that episode is you know who, who knows what's going on with them. The, you know they appear to be disintegrated. I think we'll see them again because there is going to be a second season but uh, I don't know you know people will have to watch and find out <laughs>